What I'm doing up here is I'm going to put this thing back together. I do not have my bogey wheel or my idler wheel yet that goes here. Um, no, it goes here. I have the wheel that goes here, but I need the bracket. I'm going to put it together anyway um, because I want to get this thing off the lift and we got a storm coming. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to start out with this. I put a basically a 4x4 four four in the jaw horse and this lets me support the back of the sled by lowering the lift it'll lift the back of the sled off the jack stand and I can slip the suspension underneath the sled with the greatest of ease um, so yeah now I just take this out of here don't need to do that but take that down and I can now I'll put my suspension back in. This is what the tunnel of a snowmobile looks like, in case you were wondering. Um, that's where that connects, that's where that connects. These are fins for the uh, water coolant. Um, it looks like, I think, yeah, these are sliders that you can replace. It's that same type of plastic. But So yeah, now I'm gonna get this suspension and actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to find all my grease zerks and grease everything and then throw it back in. So, all right. So, before I go too far, I want to check to make sure that all of my clips are the way they should be. So, for instance, my last slide was shredded like so and I believe it was because one of these clips was bent up um, so the slide runs in this channel here this might be a better the, slide runs, the slide runs in this channel here and so I want to make sure that all of my clips are flat down um, and not sticking out anywhere so I'll do that for this side and then I'll do that for over here if I see any, I'll just take my cold chisel and bang them down. Um, and I don't actually see any, so, so this is where it was. I already bent that one down. So now I'll rotate the track and see if I can see any more. Let's see, uh, forward or backwards? Huh, that's going to be harder than I thought.
I hooked the strap down here, went over, knee, over this suspension here so that I could squish it down. And squishing it down brought the hole from over here down to here. Maybe it's easier to see on this side. Um, so the hole was up here and squishing the suspension brought it down to over here. So I'm hoping if I raise the lift, it should put it right in the right spot. right about there so it's close I mean I could go just a little bit more forward on this side So a note to self and anyone else, these wheels don't like to adjust unless you remove this bolt or loosen this bolt here. So I've been trying to move those wheels for two days and they never moved. So as soon as I loosened that bolt, they actually moved. So now I'm going to tighten the rest of the track bolts and then tighten these wheels to tighten the track up. Track is on, it's tightened, might be a little too tight, so I'll probably back it off. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at.
is. I'm gonna go see how it goes.